Never left. Fur got some new shoes. Right. That nigga got a new chain. New shoes. That nigga got some My grandmama made this for me. That, that nigga got a necklace full of bed posts. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got to show him now. Bro. Oh, my God. You oh, nigga. Today, <laughs> you need to play the lottery, bro. Like, yeah, God his, damn. His, his fedora in the trunk. Oh, <laughs> my God, bro. <laughs> I feel like when you got to call a meeting in the village. <laughs> Come to the center of the village. Yeah, when you're doing the secret genius life, you gotta put this shit on. The wise man's. The wise man's necklace. This is like what The Rock gave Coach Prime when he got to Colorado. That was saying something, Coach Prime. Here you go, man. Shout out to the artist that made this. It's heavy. It's a weapon as well. Yeah, it totally is a weapon. pull up and get their ass beat with them bed posts. This motherfucker got four slinkies on it. <laughs> and what if a girl break them shits out? Like, these are my them kegels. the bottoms of four bunk beds. <laughs> another, another, another granny creation. Another Where granny up? creation. Hey, another man. granny got, creation. Got that hoarder's jewelry. It's good with you. <laughs> <laughs> Porter's jewelry. <laughs> oh my god! Nigga, put all the man posts right here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch of man posts. Let me get this. Uh, <laughs> this gonna be nice. I don't know who's gonna wear this. My tall baby. My tall baby. <laughs> tall baby gonna wear this. He's he tall enough to wear it. I'm gonna put all the bed posts on this. I can't. Just, I gotta Stop. use all of them. Stop saying bed posts. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little shoebox full of bed posts. I said, what am I gonna do with these? Made some jewelry. Ah, oh, we got this jewelry. thing called Etsy. <laughs> Order jewelry. Oh Lord. Hey man, we was talking outside about uh, what if, did the slavery slaves have like their own comedy shows, or talent shows? Yeah, they or definitely. Talent shows. Bro. They definitely probably had some fun on the plantation yes. <laughs> in the midst of all the trauma and the bullshit. Come on, man. That's where the blues came from, baby. <laughs> In the field comedy. What does he call it? Def, uh, Def Slavery Jam. Def Slavery Jam. <laughs> <laughs> we want to do an episode every week for y'all to kind of see. We, we want to get our audio acting up. <laughs> see, this what I'm saying? You see Ferg oh with the creative? God, Ferg will have a fiddle yeah, next episode. Fer, Ferg knowing for the yeah. bullshit. Oh, yeah. Ferg <laughs> loves it. He <laughs> loves violence. You got oh DJ Fiddler. <laughs> DJ Fiddler. Hey, the Fiddler is the DJ. Yeah. Oh, you facts. They cut that off. What if somebody do a terrible? He do the jaws music, dude. Nah, it's a nigga bobbing. They be like, man, whip this nigga. Man, sell him. Sell him. Yo, wow. Sell him. Sell him. Sell him. Welcome, 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 welcome to the plantation talent show tonight. We got a. Hell of a show tonight. We got a hell of a show. Uh, the winner of tonight's plantation uh, uh, idol. <laughs> we received two jaws of molasses <laughs> prepared by Miss Pearl in the big house. What's up, Miss Pearl? You know she got a, a new bed. You know Miss Pearl doing good up there. She got she half white. Miss <laughs> Pearl, my Pearl. auntie. Okay, oh, I'm outside, wow. but I'm gonna be up there soon. You hear me? Yeah. But uh, yeah, we got this. This one boy fresh off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even been branded yet. Master <laughs> 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 oh, say he gonna get about 15 oh. young out of <laughs> strong buck. But if he ain't shit tonight, we gonna sell his ass. <laughs> sell him, sell him, sell him, sell him. What the fuck is wrong with that? Yeah. Oh. Amanda Seals gonna fight all of us. It's things, history. Bro. Oh my god. This is history, bro. They had to have it. They had to release some shit, bro. Oh my god. That's kind of better than the uh, the Charles from BMF podcast. Oh. <laughs> They wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. Season two coming. <laughs> Let's do a whole bunch of different podcasts inside our podcast. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what they're gonna be like. I became a fan when you guys start going deeper into the pod. Y'all potted about a pod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
Party, party, party. Oh, that ain't a bad idea. Hey, man, What's you your favorite come... podcast to watch besides this one? Uh, I like Joe Budden. I like, uh, I watch R&B Money. That shit is R&B good. R&B Money is a good they one. Have a, they have great, KC from KC and JoJo has the best yeah. goddamn Casey has a podcast. No, his interview on that oh, show God, was, okay. was enough. It was, it was Sheesh. in order. You can write their miniseries off of his podcast, oh, like yeah. directly. What he's he, wow. he started out in a gospel group, uh, became kind of big, and was traveling and stuff with his family's gospel group. Ooh. And uh, he said it was this rival little boy. This, uh, he was another like little kid, like making him fall out of church, killing. And they were both in the D.C. area, and he, the other little boy was Johnny Gill. Ooh, so that, that's where he come from. Like them niggas sang, sang. You know what I'm saying? Like when they talk about how artists don't put in dudes. Now he been singing. He was like 12, 13 yeah. on albums. They got hey, they little Casey Haley. It ain't nothing like singing in a church, like making somebody fall out. Like I ain't never did that shit. But like that has to be some type of power. Like. That's, ego why, they, that's trip, why they're singing and they be fucking all the bitches in the church. Jesus yeah, Lucifer Lord. was the minister of the praise minister. Of the music yeah. now. Music minister. Yeah. He had the horns coming up out his back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now niggas be having the horns go in their back. Uh, <laughs> no. I don't know if I was on the mic when wish I said me it. Love. Wish me love. Wish me love. Welcome back to the Wish Me Love podcast. We we'll we'll talk all the shit in the world. And we'll I'm just Charles. And can you believe the bitch had the rep come to my house? <laughs> Oh, hey, bro! Do you know niggas looked up the? Uh, he went to the it was the Easy Easy Hotel to yeah. fuck the chick, and niggas looked up the street. Yeah, how like, far it was from the house? Nah, how far it was from the Wendy's is with his wife right there. That shit was across the street from the Wendy's, bro. Yeah, they said Charles oh, was. <laughs> he had the damn receipt to about thirty two dollars. He was complaining about that shit. Boy, what? Ooh. This nigga with the side bitch couldn't even get it up. Talking about damn, let's, damn, let's cut on the vibrating right. bed. That like, had, he ain't have his sweater on for a time. Yeah, it wasn't dangerous no more. <laughs> he ain't have his fuck sweater. He was going with it now. He was pull up on when I got my fuck sweater. I bet I'd tell A fuck sweater sounds out. itchy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, introduce the first lady. Oh, coming to the stage. Oh, uh, I Fresh we off the ship. <laughs> Sailed them in yesterday. He's, you might know him as Kunta Kente's grand boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he good. I know him. Yeah, cool to get that great. We just got him from another plantation in the choir, man. They gave, they gave, the master gave two hogs <laughs> and, and, and a barrel of molasses for him. They paid him pretty, pretty for him. He got his hair done up. They're going to cut that shit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. You know, master son like boys too. Hey, come <laughs> We slaves, man. You ain't got no choice. Uh, uh, <laughs> coming to the oh, stage. Shit, man. Daryl Kente. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Kente? Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so uh they sold my wife the other day. <laughs> oh, that's a damn shame. Damn shame. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, but it's looking up though, you know what I'm saying? The bitch was getting on my nerves, man. She couldn't. She, how the fuck you can't get chillings correct in the type of era we live in now? How? You, but uh, I just built the bed out of uh, <laughs> out of straw trimmings, and uh, <laughs> it ain't as soft as I thought. <laughs> Hey, next nigga grow an afro, let me get a pillar. Let me let me just get some of your hair so I can make me some. Ooh, yeah, that's been my time. Uh, I got to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All be right, Daryl Kente, dog. everybody. Daryl Kente, Ooh, they going to ship that nigga out here tomorrow. He is done. <laughs> hey, take a good look at this nigga gone, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they are gonna rape you and send you back. <laughs> oh my god! Got to fight for your life, Ooh. man. I thought you were gonna do way better than that. We love your daddy, boy. We love your granddaddy. <laughs> we love your granddaddy, man. He did his thing. Plantation announcements tomorrow, y'all. They gonna give us the slop from the pig that they not using. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
kid. Oh yeah, <laughs> Chillers is going up. Chillers is sausages for everybody. We finna go crazy, but pig snoop, pig feet, snoop. Luda tuda tuda. You hear me? Yeah. Hey, fit love. I hope this next nigga good. <laughs> 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 Cause he drying up all Beth Ann and them pussy in the back. They, they told them they supposed to fuck us and y'all fucking it up. They got to fuck us, y'all. Y'all know that, right? Y'all making them dry. Somebody be good, please. Oh Lord. All right, coming to the stage. His 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 grandmama. I know she was in the house because he a little lighter than everybody. <laughs> I said, oh, I know. I know he got some learning. I said, oh, okay. He the tall one that put all the uh. <laughs> He light all the chandeliers in the big house. <laughs> Strong <laughs> as a <an> ox. <laughs> it's Miss Ann's mom. Uh, it's Miss Ann's oldest boy. <laughs> he liked to smoke that tobacco, that funny tobacco around the back of the side of the, the shed. I'm coming to the stage right now, y'all. Give it up for. <laughs> give it up for Toby. <laughs> Chronicles. Quiet now. That boy good. I already can read. That nigga crazy. Quiet now. Oh, I ain't gonna be long. I know y'all gotta work in the morning, <laughs> afternoon, <laughs> evening. He ain't lying. Dusk. <laughs> we working now. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna oh. kill us. <laughs> What is the deal you. with cotton? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps coming on. What are you cracking doing with all this cotton? It damn sure ain't a watch rag. Right. <laughs> I swear to God. They all smell like horse. <laughs> deal with it no more. Especially Rufan. Y'all been in the house seeing Rufan titties? What she smell like? Titties long as slavery. <laughs> That's a long titty. Titties look like two niggas hanging from a tree. <laughs> oh my God. This show is killing me literally. <laughs> Bring up all my drama. Oh, this is so I, terrible. I saw oh my family my kill before. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like Ruth Ann's son. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is why. They were giving, <laughs> giving up a Toby Chronicles, y'all. He, he did a great job. Uh, that was good, boy. That boy, that cotton. What they do? That, that hush up is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fiddler, hush up. <laughs> <laughs> we like that boy. Hey, I need everybody to boo uh, Daryl Kente again. Because <laughs> they ain't sold him yet. We were, <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get him out of here. <laughs> Hey, bro! All the wanchers have turned their back on him. Oh. 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 Master say he's supposed to make about four spars, but they ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> they gotta fuck you, and they're not gonna do it. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Coming to the stage, this brother right here. They say he could read it right. <laughs> <laughs> Him cap, he cap it. No damn read, no damn yeah. read and write. We just look at the Bible and say oh. like, "Hell is wrong." You talking about you read and write and shit? Him cap. Yeah, man, he coming to stay. He's a visitor from the plantation. He passing through. <laughs> Don't let him get y'all fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now. Everybody ain't your friend. There's some snitches in him. <laughs> hey, shout out. <laughs> Give it up for Toby Gun over there. You see him. <laughs> Thank you. Coming to the state. No, he's not. That's not Toby Gunner. This is our oh. visitor, oh. <laughs> Kamal Douglas. Look at his fine jacket, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's verified. First of all, is that a book, nigga? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> asked <Linda. laughs> First of all, my name is not Douglas of any kind. My name is Kamal Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh, he's going to get us Manute Bo Ante Tacumbo. Fiddler, get him off of there. <laughs> y'all niggas don't even know y'all names. Who this nigga talking to? Who you talk to? Now listen. I know what I'm doing. While we got all y'all here, y'all in here snickling and giggling and shit, we need to be trying to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. 
Does he know Pig Night Live? Nah, Clark? Harriet, my <laughs> cousin. Y'all heard of Harriet? Oh, Harriet. oh you go, man. You go with the Harriet. Now, who got a 40 time under 4'6? <laughs> <laughs> they said she fast now. <laughs> you got to be can. under 4'6 to make the team if you think you quick enough. We doing the shuttle after this. <laughs> a shuttle? <laughs> Y'all go on there if you want to. I'm going to get caught. If they, you know what I'm saying? The last thing we got on. Oh. We going to get the fuck up out of here, man. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> get this thing. Hey, y'all, don't worry about sell him. Go him, with him. Sell him. Sell him. Sell him. Sell him. Sell him. Nigga, get out of here with that Nigga, damn I'm, white man jacket on. <laughs> I'm free. Why oh, are you back on so? He's, he's so. so. Sell him. <laughs> That's why the master was riding your back. Y'all early. can leave with him or y'all can wait for chillin' night tomorrow. Chillin', yeah. <laughs> chillin'. <laughs> Nigga, read the riding and shit. Get him. He gonna get us beat. I'm just he gonna bring you. us no pig. All right, master coming. Let's everybody act like you sleep. Yeah, everybody disperse. Everybody fall down right where you at, just like Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll catch y'all next episode of uh, Death Slavery Jam. Yes, bro. <laughs> hey, that's the first one. We gonna... <laughs> God, episode damn, y'all can put y'all notes, add some characters to this goddamn uh, soap opera we're doing. We need more open micers. Wow. More names. Give us suggestions. This is in crazy. The comments. <laughs> duties. Give us duties. What We need a scandal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> oh, Tyler's gonna fuck us up out of here. We finna get out. <laughs> He's gonna buck break. Hey, don't get don't yeah. get caught fucking master wife now. Man, hell no. Nah. Last <laughs> nigga. <laughs> they say she pregnant with a chocolatey baby. <laughs> a chocolatey. Now, if them go ahead and baby and that spring come, y'all niggas better be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, master gonna come chop every brown dick off on this. I'm getting oh, out. Man. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did we start the show? This is crazy. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we did. No, we did. Oh, and ended it. Damn. We just ended boy. our whole We need show. animators, man. We're going to make that a cartoon. <laughs> Because the go. only way you can get away with that kind of shit is animated. <laughs> Family got to say some wild shit. Oh, man. We gonna man. Put it. We got it. Dot net got us. She's going to hook it up. Jesus Christ. That shit is prime oh, shit. shit right there. A fat nigga in a runaway slave yeah, group? <laughs> y'all nigga fans as hell, ain't you? <laughs> it's like, why y'all tell me to come? Shit. I thought there would be a carriage. That's what I heard. Oh, I'm the bait. <laughs> yeah, that nigga get caught. We need all the dogs to jump dogs on your back. Be, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? They caught that nigga 14 <laughs> feet away from him. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog's going to be on him for a week. This nigga made a left at the plantation got caught. Damn. I got out that gate, made that left, that nigga was on my ass. I ain't know what <laughs> nigga angle bucked. Who ate all the hush brothers? <laughs> 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 so the hush puppet for the dog? <laughs> I, I, so I ate 14 hush puppets, but I thought that oh was for Oh my us. God. <laughs> All right, topics. Here we go. Tory Lane's got 10 years for uh, being a goofball. And he appealed the shit, right? And he did all the yeah, stuff I mean, to kiss the court off during the trial. An appeal is standard, but he ain't going to win the appeal. No, he already lost it. He already lost like it. The quickest so he shot like her for real. We knew that. Though. We knew Charlie that. Foot. He was kind of kicking it like, but that, but the little documentary HBO, I ain't watch all of it, but they was, he basically was calling and apologizing to the other girl. That's kind of admitting fault, right? Yeah, that's like, super nigga. admitting fault. And why you got a pistol out with some girls, nigga? That's right. Like, oh, that's the why you, gen- oh, who, oh, he's why you got a gun and you got security goofball? Well, now he's going to have security. Yeah, you finish. Mm. That ass ain't going to be secure, boy. Mm. They're going to have him in protective custody, of course. Yeah. He's a little bitty fella. They he's too famous. Not the whole time, Man, they're going to make that nigga Man, like Man, Tory Lanez in general part. Boy, they're going to make that nigga like Hey, they're going to make that nigga take out his teeth. <laughs> yeah. Hey, run them. Run me them teeth. They're going to turn him into that potato on the end of the barrel on South Central. <laughs> oh, oh, my holy. God. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's tough. That is too tough, that bro. That is tough, man. Goodness. Hey, but you know, hey. <laughs> you hate to see a black Drugs man Drugs and alcohol can make you do crazy shit, 
and, and I would vagina have, fucking friends. You know I mean, you got to do your time for the punishment, but at the same time, it's a human being right. made a yeah. fucking horrible mistake, and you hope he can. And people get less than that for murder. Yeah, I mean, you know, should be should be different everywhere, dog. That the, yeah. the legal system is crazy. The legal system be as crazy yeah. as a motherfucker, but they don't. They don't. Certain states they don't play around with their firearms. Yeah, they don't play with that gun shit in L.A. Right. Yeah. Yeah. L.A. New York. Yeah. Yeah. You Did gonna do some time, bro. Yeah, you gotta go down for that. Texas, they might give you another gun. You shot Meg this down. Texas, <laughs> like, the <how> you <laughs> <laughs> like congratulations. But why is he doing Yosemite Sam shit as a little nigga? <laughs> Yosemite <laughs> Sam. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a little nigga. Yes, that's yes, that's yes. a little nigga. He shot Yosemite <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Wow. That niggas feet. Dance. dance first. That motherfucker shoot first. <laughs> dance, bro. Like, dance. That's, that's, that's so lame, him, bro. Yeah, that shit wild. She probably roasted more fake hairline ass nigga. She probably what? was whooping his ass. He probably like, like, like she got some hands, hands, bro. Yeah, yeah. She probably, he probably dropped she, that left and would get hit. She day. built like Layla Ali. I mean, yeah, in a fine she's way. She got like shoulders. And yeah, shit. <laughs> in a fine way. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Layla Ali used to be fine. To That's me. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it, was, bad, bro. it was a weird thing to say. Just yeah. In a fine way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want niggas like to be in like, the way that I like women. Yeah, they <laughs> both like, 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 women sis. They're both women, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know everybody yeah, no, likes the way. Some niggas might think. Some niggas might think. They be like, you know the nigga from Atlanta. There you go. That's they say. That's where they put the gloves on. The fine way. The fine way. Uh, Fuck with a nigga the fine way. Shit. Now how they gonna do Tory Lane? Let me fuck with you the fine way. uh, (laughs) Come in my cell and fuck with you the fine way. Boy, no. (laughs) That's 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 a red new album, the fine way. The fine way. That nigga better have all his cakes and cookies in a row. Boy, he he better have 10,000 on his books and just pass out cake. That's real. Before he had to pass out cake. (laughs) He hey, bro, what if they really don't be fucking niggas like that in jail for real? They could just... Yeah, they do. Nah, prison, they do. They do in prison, Not yeah. jail, though. In you jail, fuck a nigga yeah. in jail, you You can't. wanted to. Yeah. yeah. That's what Y'all you went, that's that's what you went up there jail. for. Yeah, bro. You try to... You just holler at my homeboy. Yeah. yeah. Nigga yeah. got nine months. My ass sex in nine months. You finna get out. Uh, I saw that scared. Uh, uh, scared straight if you push. Man, yeah, I, ain't, I watched that shit a thousand times. I ain't hey, never seen that. That nigga get punched in the back. Oh my god! Oh my god. god. I've seen that shit a thousand times. For context, ladies and gentlemen, it was some kids on scared straight, and they had the inmates run to the glass to scare them. It is one thing getting served. <laughs> he, called it, he found an opportunity Bro, to sneak in. He, he bumped the nigga that hit him. He bumped him. He, him, and he hit him, and his face hit the glass, and he fell back. Dang he him. hit his face. His face hit the glass. He fell back. I was like, "Ooh, yeah, shit!" Gave him the workout. They left that edit in. They was like, "Yeah, they need to see that." No, yeah. fact. Niggas ain't see that good without HD. <laughs> Ooh, boy, shit. The HD is wild, son. Pause. I don't know. <laughs> What are you thinking about? It's the question. Right. You have to pause yourself. Have to say HD, high definition, or <laughs> other HDs. Right. Yep. That's what uh, he said. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> niggas need a retreat. So check it out. So the niggas Twitter investigation shit was offset, bro. Saying he cheated on Cardi B because he doing the Kai Sinat Sinai. However, you say that nigga name on uh YouTube is no Twitch. Mm-hmm. His live stream, him, his homeboys, he got an album coming out. They looking at shit. And like every couple of seconds, it, you could hear a chick's voice off camera and him saying something to her every couple of seconds. And then they started putting what she was saying in the subtitles, oh. like saying, come here and all that shit. And he was going, because the music was loud, you couldn't really hear and shit. And they was talking. Then, then they put in the subtitles, she said, go upstairs. And that nigga went upstairs, uh, and it was like forty minutes later. And oh they come back downstairs, God. they like, oh, he dancing and shit. Let's look like he fresh off some pussy. Oh. I said, oh, y'all ain't shit. Well, he done for that, but y'all ain't shit for that. But she already said she ain't gonna leave him if he cheats. So I guess it's she, like they might have an arrangement. Like she might have sent her a, a little Bronx chick down there with him. Like, you know. I think a lot of them famous people be having an arrangement. Like don't don't embarrass me. Yeah, don't, he bro, don't bring caught. Don't public. embarrass me, bro. Yeah. yeah. And why they investigate so hard on Twitch? That's crazy. They ain't got shit, they ain't got shit to, do. Yeah. to do. They right. literally watching everything that go on in that nigga room. Right. He could have took a shit. And it's millions of motherfuckers watching that That's shit, too. Right. Only, only, only you, only you take 40 minutes shits in the only middle you of a think program. You would you go was, take a shit right. for 40 Something minutes. Something you was paid to take come a shit to. and you've been really needing to take a shit, you dance. <laughs> <laughs> you now dance. That dance. is gay. <laughs> This nigga take post shit dances. Yeah, your booty hole free. Boy, that's hey, gay. Hey. Nothing against you, but you're a gay. Nah, that's hey. the gayest thing I ever heard a nigga say. 
I, I used to work at Foot Locker. My the assistant manager, gay as hell, was swore he wasn't right. Right. This nigga came out the bathroom one time and said, "Defecating just feels so good." Oh, oh God. my God! <laughs> I was like, Ugh. <laughs> "Wow." Yeah, so it's a bad memory for me. Now it's a bad memory <laughs> yeah. for all of us. I feel like it got on my I was traumatizing. <laughs> I feel like it got on me. I feel bad for you. I need some sanitizer. Ugh, I'm glad I can't see what he looked like because that would make it worse. Oh, God. Uh, you white, nigga. He, 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 he had a gay ass name, too. His name was Adonis. <laughs> Damn. Huh? Adonis, not you, Adonis. Adonis definitely was at the Renaissance tour. <laughs> oh, no, nah, for sure. He definitely was, didn't break his soul. You uh, can't break my soul. All right. Hey, man. That was fine. So we got them Falcon ones. Shit. Twice. Two and oh. Fuck you mean. Two and oh. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Falcons we fans, actually, we don't get excited because. Best team in the league. Hey, time guess for the what? best Kinda record in the just NFL gotta right accept now. it and be, move on along with it. And so. you got to pop your shit. Somebody reminded me. Like, you got to get it in early. As a Falcons fan, you got to pop your shit when you can, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't never know. But we don't want to talk about it too tough. But you got to pop your shit. 2 0, man. That look good. And, the, and the division ain't all that. That motherfucker's strong. a monster. Yeah. Like man, that. we should have picked him up. Boy. Who like that nigga's good, yeah, boy. Bro. Yeah, bro. It's going to be crazy when they don't pay that nigga and y'all had to cut him. Oh, man. <laughs> they, all, they, they do they, not pay the running back. The front they, office, man. That's a new thing. It's a new it's just, thing. It's a new thing, bro. It's like, fuck y'all. We got 80 y'all. We get 80 y'all. Exactly. And the teams that are like winning at a high clip don't have like a superstar running back. Like the Eagles had, we had three running backs. Keep the Chiefs had running a nigga that was like committee. undrafted that was starting for them, so you know what I'm saying. Derrick Henry committee. is like the only nigga that his team so needs we, him. We're <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Last, we, we're the last of the like Emmitt Smith era and the, the oh, that superstar ain't, yeah. running back yeah. hero. Yeah, like, I don't even know if they box. gonna have niggas built like that anymore to like really carry the ball thirty times a game anymore. I don't know. I mean, I guess. That All sports hurt. changed, like b- basketball changed. Like niggas just yeah. throwing threes from half court now. You That's know what I mean? Threes, so now niggas, niggas passing, just the passing the ball like a motherfucker. Yeah. And it's hard to run because niggas is big and fast on that line now. So mm-hmm. it's hard. It is yeah. Hard. yeah. yeah. They, stops the linemen are not fat anymore. <laughs> Eagles got all the Georgia players. <laughs> Georgia looking good too. They too, right? Yeah, so they're that. not looking good though. They struggle with it, South Carolina. Yeah, cause uh, sp- that boy Rattler, he he almost got off. Almost got off. Yeah, that that, uh, that, that little albino good. nigga, good. Shout out to Coach Prime, Coach Prime. Yeah, Coach man. Prime. Shout Prime. out, man. Take off them shades, nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, made, he made four million dollars in sales. All shades. Merch. You know I like merch. You know I to research the merch now. Research the merch, my boy Dion. Ain't merch report. <laughs> boy, Colorado ain't gonna let Dion go. He got. They said that he. First home game, they generate like eighteen million dollars. Yeah. He's a cash cow. That's crazy. They say they got the <laughs> the highest cost ticket average now yeah. too. But, the, doing same shit in but now they got like. Who, but think about the economy that. around it. They gotta have a hookah. It's some strip club that's going yeah. crazy. Yeah, I might leave next year. Not for real. Like if his son get drafted, he can go to NFL. Son's gonna graduate. And what's his no, son I'm saying man. go to another college. Yeah, uh, yeah he can do that somewhere else. Shiloh. He can keep doing. Shiloh, yeah. So the portal. Had two picks. One. Yeah, one, one, pick. yeah, one, one pick. pick. Took it back. Though, took yeah. It yeah. yeah. But he's a senior, though, so shit. He graduate, then his son go to the league. Yeah. He could be like, you think he going to get picked? Man. You think Shiloh going to get picked? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Two his sons in the league. Deion Sanders. He, he might not get picked team, early, bro. but he's going to get picked. Yeah. He, gonna he, get was pick. a, he was a top player coming out of high school. He went to South Carolina first, then he went to Jackson State. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. But he Dion, did. but the thing is, the coolest part about Dion is he had this plan from the jump. Remember that? I remember that Truth Academy. He had them mm-hmm. kids yeah. since they was five, six. Mm-hmm. This been the plan. Well, they just now, he's, 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 they he's, doing the plan. They, he yeah. execute. He was always there. He was always. And I like how Shador is just cool. He's just like, he man, was, I wasn't cool. worried about shit. Yeah, you just gave an HBCU quarterback an offensive line that can really block a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A very little. A bit. little bit. <laughs> but if all he needed like two seconds. He yeah, he's a, he, he is he is a good ass motherfucking quarterback, yeah, bro. Amazing. That ninety eight yard drive was pretty was fucking amazing. impressive, was, bro. Yeah, and and he had like they had like two stupid penalties, so he had to go like yeah. hundred yeah. something more yards. Yeah. He probably did. That was like a hundred twenty yard drive after all them penalties. And he do it all with his chain on. Yeah, 
Fucking just watch him. Hey, you, they show a high school clip of me at a Cuban league on there. That nigga been they. they yeah, his man, daddy man, is Deion Sanders. Deion, he's the only kid that can get away with saying some of the stuff and doing that shit. Everybody else probably been on his head if it wasn't Deion's son. Like that watch shit. Oh, probably that shit high, bro. It's hard, yeah. bro. That shit is the legacy of the must be the money nigga. Must be the money. Hey, no. the crazy shit is, is, I mean, Deion wasn't. All right, so my, my con- con- comparison is he did a Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, Gucci was one way. We seen him one way. Then he became something different. Like, But Prime ain't never been that far down to where he was like a Gucci. But he was a great player, very disruptive in a sense to some people. But then he made that transition to coach, amazing father. Like, you know what I mean? These are all the things that he's probably been. But it's just great to see a black man being you know, we get to see all sides of it. And they keep fucking with them, and that's when they be getting their ass whooped. Like, if, yeah. if you, when they stop saying something to these motherfuckers, <laughs> that's yeah. what we're going to have to see. You know what I'm saying? Because right. they got that, when you get that bulletin board material, that shit motivate the hell out of the team, so. Right. Because Wayne come out there, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, everybody right. ran to, everybody went to Colorado that weekend, bro. Every weekend gonna be lit. Nigga, at Kawhi the Leonard game. was out there. He don't never. Man, die. Desi didn't want to shit. They was like, <laughs> you, they asked me that. They was like, you want to come to the game? I was like, man, I got shit with my kids. I was sure. gonna, yeah, I can't go on a whim like that. But my dad, I was on the phone. My dad, he said, fuck them kids. Take your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, go get, nigga, yeah. like, go get some weed out of there. That nigga, my dad, like, go get some weed out there. These niggas in a weed legal state that niggas don't mind going to anyway. Come on, bro. Like he stimulates the whole. Economy, and that's yeah. probably what he's been saying. And they didn't appreciate him in Jackson. They broke in his house. They did a lot of shit that he don't publicize. And he's still sending money back to them. He, he making sure, like Under Armour, pay them and, and yeah, uniforms them. Yeah, but he Crazy. fucking set it up for like now yeah. it's time for some other NFL players to do the same shit. Airy tried to, but we find out now in the HBCUs, the the, the administration, they be. Yeah, everybody. It's a lot of old. Bread, it's a lot of old mindset up there, man. They be taking that bread, my boy. But they take a lot though. Like you, you can't overlook the fact that Dion was coaching for like pretty much since he got out. Like he was coaching his little league in high school. Like he, he did that. Like he yeah. really wasn't really coaching nobody. Like right, that's yeah. hard. Right, because coach, because they rich already. Like, like why would you want to do that? Yeah, you got to have speeches every day. You got to be able to talk to them. And you got to be able to go through the frustrations without being frustrated. It's a lot. And nigga lost some toes. Lost some toes yeah. by that game, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we we fuck. But every all the black kids, he was like Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali put together for football. Like nobody mm-hmm. gave a fuck about the quarterback position before yeah. prime. Like this is because the context is always lost when the new generation sees stuff. It's like, no, nah, this nigga. Was talking shit and that nigga at the same time, and, and, and didn't cuss and, and, and got all the endorsement deals. Go hit a home run, bring his ass down he here, run a punt back. Two Come on, fucking sports in the same, <coughs> same, 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 same day, day. Same, same day, day bro. Yeah, on the helicopter, and had on two chains at the same yeah, time. Go from game to game. That's why. That's why you like when you like it's another NFL player to do it. There ain't another one nigga like that. Yeah, no. it's it's like if Michael Jordan was going to coach. <laughs> He, he don't got the patience. Enough, yeah, like it's a, something about the prime that just make motherfuckers like I like him. Yeah. I I mm-hmm. run into a wall for this nigga. Yeah, bro. Uh, Until so next year when he really get his player boy. And, yeah. and the portal shit, is making bro. shit even. Like that yeah. Nick Saban shit. Niggas used to rest on. If there's anybody on a on a major team right now that ain't happy, they are going to Colorado. And that's I'm crazy. sure he already talking to him. I know he already know the top niggas that's ready to go. Right now, and it's the perfect pla- it's the perfect platform to be with Colorado because you can get game tape out the ass. You don't yeah. get media attention out. Yeah, the Colorado ass. ain't never been on TV. He turned up their conference, dog. I ain't yeah. watched no fucking pack team. A night game. You never seen a Colorado game, game not once. At ten o'clock, I ain't seen Colorado start. game since Cordell, Cordell Stewart. 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 Slash, Stewart. nigga. Yeah, Eric B. Enemy and Cordell Stewart was playing, bro. Mm-hmm. Cordell went crazy though. Cordell used to go crazy. That nigga threw a touchdown, catch one. He, he, he played quarterback and receiver. Yeah. Crazy. Shit, I remember. Colorado merch, <laughs> They going merch crazy. going crazy. They got the Deion Cleats. They going crazy. They got the Cleats. All the jewelers hitting up the players and shit. I like this. And, uh, shit is even. It's like it's like shit yeah, even now. Is. But I mean, they, money, yeah. NCAA is making more money off of that too, though. So everybody's yeah. getting. Getting a piece. You think they ain't getting a piece of that NIL? You got your goddamn Hell yeah, they, hell yeah. You got your motherfucking Everybody got rolled. There's so many goddamn Hellcats yeah. in Athens, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Them nigga. Wow, wow. Track it's hawking. A violation every two days in Athens. They really, they really going crazy like they was because, you know, that car accident, that girl yeah, stuff. Man. So you really, they kind of keep the players. Well, they're saying some niggas is getting scammed off out, um, using the NIL shit as well. Oh, like, no. it's, it's, um, 
agents and corporations that are like loaning NIL money against niggas salaries and shit. What like, they would get, get if they get to the league? I'll give you four million dollars now, but you gotta give me Ooh. fucking fifteen percent of your salary for thirty years type Ooh. shit. Oh, like a three sixty? Ooh yeah, shit. Fifteen percent is a lot. Oh, forever you're playing football, you ain't gonna get that much money if you ain't a quarterback. And I said four million, but the story I saw it wasn't even that m- m- that much. I think right. it was like eight hundred thousand. Right. I was about to say four million. I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> My knee might go out. It was yeah, like eight hundred thousand. Like, That's crazy. I mean, but it was like fifteen percent of your salary, yeah. man. But this nigga was like a top. I think it was like a okay. top linebacker. He's expected to go in the first see, round. I don't know if we talked about. It. Did you see that one? Uh, I don't remember. Show yeah. Oh, that yes. shit was that Roy shit was Johnson crazy. Is, uh, oh, he had crazy eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that, like yeah, that motherfucker detected. is insane, bro. Yeah, yeah. that motherfucker is insane. The original crazy bipolar, all that shit, all that shit that chicks hey. be saying they are after they you, you find out they. This nigga cheat, and all the cheat niggas cheat was twenty. Stuff. How you gonna make a fake school and all the niggas be too old and y'all get your ass whooped? Like you cheated. The nigga wasn't playing football. The niggas ain't played football in two years. Bruh. And that nigga, the whole no team ain't played football. The nigga two years. was yeah. giving up the, the scammer hacks yeah. for hotels. And they was playing against team teams though. These teams is like yeah, they teams. playing like, the like, IMG and yeah, shit. Like, they have, <laughs> them niggas all they have helmets. Let me get your helmet, bro. Right. You my niggas helmet. Is sharing the helmets. But who sends their kid to that? Like, like you can't be. Them niggas weren't having parents. What you mean seeing? Them niggas was twenty. Yeah, them that niggas. one boy was calling his mama. Like, this ain't right. And them niggas was like, we ain't had no class or nothing. Yeah, y'all niggas in the hotel playing Madden all day. Right. Shit, they said they was the getting plays off Madden. That's college, though. If they went to a big school, they wouldn't have to get their plays off Madden. Yeah. They literally got their plays off Madden. That's why they ain't got their ass whooped. That nigga said, I, he, told, he looked right at the camera and said, if, <laughs> I won't tell you nothing that you can't prove. Like he, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. I was like, wow. He just he told you he a liar. He was like, it's not illegal to start your own yeah. school. But it's how many niggas go to his new school? A lot. They gonna be on they the He was like, I did it. He, he looked. He, he got like the he niggas did. to play on ESPN. Now that's fucking. Now that that's the that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's shit crazy. But he should be in marketing for some other school or some shit. Like, if he was white, they'd find a way to like get him in man. the system like that. Speaking of docs, have you seen the doc that's coming out about the white lady who had like the fake hospital in Ghana or somewhere and was treating a, hundred, a bunch of kids and they was dying and oh, she was just a fake doctor. And then she's interviewing in the documentary um, like, like, what do you mean? I was trying to help. Like she was 32 years old going to speak and shit. She, op- she doing procedures it's and shit. It's on what? Procedures. It's going to be on Max, nigga. Yeah, it's coming out September... 29th or some shit like yeah she was yeah bunch of kids died like yeah it was like is she a murderer yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you just described it. Sound like murder. Yeah, that shit sounds like over. mass murder. Like, Get yeah, money and but shit. But why they stop it after like third kid? This has no medical nothing. You know why, Ty. She white man, white people. Oh, what they was just talking about the man. white savior complex or some shit. It was I forgot the name of it. It's something it's like that. It sound like the name. Yeah, I think that is the name of it. Something like that. <laughs> oh, no. White savior. <laughs> we don't need a savior or some shit like that. We don't need a white savior. Some some shit like that. Yeah, it's coming out on that HBO. Uh, these documentaries get into it, boy. You got a topic, Remo? Hell no. God damn, bro. I'm about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about topics for the whole time. Bro. We talked about topics. You got, you got one? Uh, uh, so you doing like magic in the finals? Is that what you doing in the lights? No, 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 no. Yeah. Freezing the lights? So no, it's just, you know, married versus single. You know what I mean? You got some things that you need to Go. Do. Go you for it. Um, uh-oh. So, so the relationship game, right? I mean, like... Why you need to do your accent when you... Yeah, what is this? I'm just trying to get nervous and tell somebody else. Yeah, you know what I mean? Let me, let me, let me do my thing. That's how you argue. from L.A. or just a weird nigga. Yeah, he did this in the relationship. It's a weird nigga from Connecticut. Yeah, or a nigga yo, y'all niggas, yo, y'all niggas... This nigga from Water... Orange and Green. Y'all old, y'all old, old, weird Connecticut, bro. He from Waterbury, Connecticut. Waterbury. Nah, they should be getting sensitive, bro. Yeah. It ain't being getting sensitive. It's motherfuckers. So what do you? What does that mean? What's the like? What's the statement? 
Like no, they getting they, our nails done and shit. They just saying that the overall uh, men are tapping into their femininity mm. in a soft side. In a space, soft boy era. Right to where it's like a little. Horrible, well, they done told this whole generation they toxic masculinity for 10 years straight. So mm-hmm. now what the fuck is a nigga to do? Like, now you can't even approach a woman because it's looked at as creepy or thirsty. So now you definitely going to be gun shy. So you got, first of all, you got two years in the house. That's We can't skip over COVID. You got two years in the house. What what what, what age now is everybody? Like, if the 20-year-olds are dating... They was in the house for when they was like 16, 15, 14, you know what I'm saying? 17 or whatever. I'm sorry. But uh yeah, I think I think with those formative years where you was supposed to holler at chicks and do shit in person, niggas was locked down and now it's like you can't say nothing to nobody no more, bro. You can you can do more talking online than you can in person. That shit is totally weird. Yeah. It, it depends. Harassment depends on if the woman like you or not. Right, that's fine. That's true. Oh, that's so true. Like it, 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 it's a fine line. Or if forty years later she's like, hmm. <laughs> Well, that's, I ain't talking about, became. like, sexual harassment, you know, like, sexual assault or shit. I'm talking about, like, a workplace harassment thing four years later. I'm like, give a fuck. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> what? This is, this is he smacked me on my ass in the office 40 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they coming out the closet, man. man. I feel you. No, but go ahead to your point. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't be doing uh, topics. Topics, baby. We try to do a topic. No, nah, I mean, but all right. So my take on it is oh, niggas, yeah. niggas grew up slick, fatherless. You know what I'm saying? For a whole That's age, one. for a whole generation. What do slick mean? Do uh, slick, like, slick mean I just don't really want to say it, but ah, it's the fifties though. Like you know, what I mean, fifties, sixties, like the father has been like jailed. Not mine. He's a great guy. Great dude. Everybody ain't got daddy with us. Turn your pop up, dog. Turn him up. Nigga, right. Dot Net got two daddies. Right, nigga. Dot Net. Not, got not in the gay way. Not in the gay way, but the fun way. Ah! Step daddy. No, and so, and so, the lack of the fathers. And like you said, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? We've been told to, get, you know, tap into our softer side. And I mean, at this point, I don't know. Like, to me, it's like, what's sensitive about it? You got to start there. You know what I mean? Like, you need to be sensitive. Like, a man can't be fucking still and all the time. You know what I mean? That's you got to show. Yeah, like you got to show some type of sensitivity, man. Like, but then it's like, I don't know. It's like, what, what, what do they? What do you think? <laughs> you feel like what these bitches want from a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> let me know. I let think that's know. the topic. <laughs> that's Remo topic is what <laughs> these bitches want from a nigga. <laughs> they, want they want it all. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, the famous yeah I don't know. From, 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 from the marriage side. What I think it's good. Oh. <laughs> I, I was going to answer that question right quick. I think a good woman wants a man to try. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They, you don't have to okay. have everything. A good, but they want, a good woman go. wants you to be trying to For do sure. these things For that sure. she feels is, is what a man should do. She wants you trying. For sure. That's all I got. A good healthy woman. Good mentally healthy woman. Yeah. Where, where they had What's the question what again? What these bitches want? From, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. from the marriage side, like like he didn't ask no question. Yeah, no, he did. He, he said these niggas soft. He said from the marriage side. He said niggas are soft now, B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, can, I don't know how to answer that. The women are complaining, that. Are complaining yeah. that the new niggas is soft. Like, right? Correct. Yeah, and he can't be toxic. So is he saying, like, what? where's the middle ground? What do they want? I think that's user friendly. It's, See? According to Dex. This is a nigga that wears a bandana as a belt. <laughs> <laughs> bandana belter. <laughs> 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 that nigga is a pirate. He's a pirate of little five points over there. Who <laughs> 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 beer ring shark? Yeah, he out here living swashbuckling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> swashbuckling. <laughs> swashbuckling bitches. <laughs> 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 man, I could I from a marriage standpoint, man, I think women want a partner. Okay. 
what I'm saying? Somebody that is, you know, willing to to do what whatever's necessary to push that partnership forward. I think he talking about them single chicks that be like, These I don't know what they with. want like, though. The I don't like. I don't. I ain't been in this. I ain't been outside like, in such a long we time. Asking, they were asking the married type, like there was a point in time you wasn't married. There was something that you were doing to get to find this person in. Right. Right. Nah, I mean <laughs> you looking for somebody with with a like mind. Are you i I'm supposed to be telling you what a woman looking for? Yeah. All right, shit. They don't they know. They don't even know what they're looking for. Yeah, Who the hell I don't, yeah, I I it's can't I don't think I can they, answer that. They want a nigga. Uh, I feel like my wife was looking for a nigga cash. like me. Saved up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what she found was a nigga like me, and so she won. Yeah. Some girls just want a nigga not to whoop them. Uh, <laughs> it's also a major point is to find somebody that likes you. That was a good point. Somebody Facts. that likes you Facts. is a big Somebody person. that likes you is a big, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You somebody. Train them how to treat you. If they like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody will learn. Well, somebody will. Can't say that these days. Train. You know, you know, you know, well, you huh? have to teach everybody how to treat you. That's yeah. even that's us. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. You, have to you have to set up have healthy to boundaries and let that's people know what you're going for, and what you're not going for. That's everybody. That's real. That's, yeah, sure. some, you got, your mama got to relearn you when you get grown. You're like, yo, we don't talk about that, or exactly. we're not doing that. You know, you got to communicate your needs on both sides, like for sure. You know what I mean? And it, I think in communication is where we fall out sometimes because, of course, they communicate how they communicate. We communicate how we communicate. But if we take the time to try. To learn each other and, and I, how we communicate. Man, we communicate. I think yeah, you got to communicate. Communication is it. In the men's man brain, my brain sometimes, I skip a step in the communication process. So I just skip to doing the thing, and it's like, you didn't include me on that step. And I'm like, I already know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, your man brain is like, get the shit done. And they're like, well, let's talk about how you got it done. You're like, oh, God damn it. So, you know. Let me learn. They're trying to learn, maybe. I think a big mistake that people make I say this shit all the time Is niggas don't In relationships They don't finish fighting You know what I'm saying They don't finish the argument They just niggas they, You get mad to a point That you don't want to argue no more You separate Cool off And then you just Stop talking about the shit Then that same That same issue is going to continue to present itself. There's going to be an argument every time, but y'all don't ever finish arguing and come to an understanding of why this shit is happening. And so you can get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Once you get to that point in a relationship where it doesn't, you know know I'm not going nowhere, I know you're not going nowhere, so let's just finish arguing until we come to an understanding. And then we don't have to argue about that shit no more. Also, man, the, the uh, I don't know why why this happened in our community, especially, but it seemed like everything got skipped over and went to black men's mental health. Oh, man. You know what I mean? It's like it's nothing too much about women and their mental health, and they need a lot. There's I've seen so many women that <laughs> self proclaim and are kind of proud of being bipolar and won't get help. Bro, like you've been diagnosed, yeah. you need to get help. Yeah. Like, yeah. But they'll they'll post about it and talk about it and won't care. And nobody's like saying like, yeah. yo. Women need to get their mental health checked just as much as men. Right. People, yeah. Just because I, I I've been seeing like right now, you know, they talking about their dark side, their shadow self. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard that. Seeing this shit to put me on today. So 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 it's like they be What's having that they be having posts like the dark side of you. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have a so you have a light side of yourself and a shadow side or a dark side of yourself. So it's like the light side, I guess, is supposed to be the side that has morals and. You know what I'm saying? Accountability is what you do. And then you, your dark stuff is just, you know, you just live. Like you're, oh, you're, demon time? Demon yep. time. You know what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha, gotcha. And so now it's like women are accepting their dark selves and or their shadow side and are proud of it. Like, oh, you know, man. Like, like, uh, well, also, a lot of them seen their moms <laughs> in the house not crazy. doing shit and not no, traveling. Uh, no, no I, saying, I, I understand it's real. I'm it's just, crazy. yeah, I'm just, crazy. I'm just happy but that I ain't got You got to understand, a lot of them watch their mamas. Hold a nigga down or whatever the fuck. Yeah, hold it, hold several do. niggas down and right. not get nothing out of it. Don't say no money, then buy no property. So they doing the total opposite. I'm they living. Total. Fuck what these niggas talk about. It's like we can't change the trauma they went through, but they you can kind of help it go back to the mental health shit. Yeah, it's it's, it's shit. a lot of people, a lot of broken people trying to get together and be broken together. Yeah. So mm. because it's like mm. it's like you you were 
if the, if they grew up in a household with a mom and pops, right? They heard all the stories that the mom was telling their friends on the phone. They heard it through the wall. They heard sometimes them complaining, like you said, like live your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like right now you're at a place where you can live your dreams. You only got one kid, girl. You ain't got to settle yeah. for no nigga who blah 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 blah. But then you look down the line, it's like, well, damn, that's just trauma that you was projecting. On. And then a lot of their mamas did not want to have them. That part too. <laughs> I know. I know a girl. That's deep. I know a girl. I saw that on the show. <laughs> my homegirl, she was like, she didn't want to have kids no more. So I was like, why you want to have kids? Like, what you know you need to do? You want to have another kid? You still kind of young. You don't need to have one. And she was like, when I thought about that shit, I was like, I wasn't a good mom to my first kid. So I'm kind of almost scared to have another kid because I don't want to be a bad mom twice. And I was just like, damn, you put a lot of stress on yourself. But that's your that's show. What that bad mama pussy hit like, Rebo? Yeah, they can't never close a deal, boy. Tell you what, but damn, close, close, close many a deal. You want to see what the bad one time at, man? If a girl look me in the face and say, "I was a bad mother," I'm like, "Yeah." You don't know how to be single, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah cause I'm yeah, I'm a I got a different perspective, so yeah. Right, right. Really been outside like, 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 yo, you are really. And nigga ain't been outside since stuff is stunning. Oh, you get off the bus, come here, let's fuck. Like that's like, right. right. Oh, you getting gay? Come on, let's fuck. Oh, you like go? Let's go. I mean, to my defense, yeah. I did see Tyler in L.A. and it was kind of like yeah. it was like all those things have happened to me. It was like, like that pop 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 pop. It was like go. Oh, and then fuck. Kim Kardashian black cousin show up. Like, what? <laughs> Shout out to her. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, her. Right. Yeah. Having a lot. I seen it. I seen the stud give Tyler her her, her wallet. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just want to give you some. I said, this nigga here has got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All he had to do is get out that book bag. That's it. <laughs> I don't need a whole bag then. I, I know you was. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the, the glowed up Tyler probably really fancy. So I, he was looking like he had a parachute. <laughs> as, but as Tyler was ascending, his caliber of women said, we going up. Do you know what I said? Work it, JT. Work it. <laughs> That's what you said. Hey, yeah, there's some mud ducks out there. No, I'm telling you, <laughs> the boy, though. I'm going to tell you about my partner. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about <laughs> this one right <laughs> here, Rimbo. <laughs> he ain't got no G League player, but he ain't got no G League. He got some, some good power forwards, <laughs> but they got a contract. <laughs> there ain't no 10 days in there. That's the no last chance you... No last chance. <laughs> I mean, if they get to the league, you get to the league. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it don't matter like how it. you got to the league. You got that motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, Cam Newton was the last chance you, nigga. <laughs> Coach comments? Huh? Oh, nah. Wait. Oh, y'all want the other episode of Wish Me Luck? Uh, <laughs> Wish Me Luck. <laughs> I can't wait to be able to come back home. Texas. Tyler on that bitch. Yeah, do season be a bell. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay. come out. Let's yeah, get that damn strike to be over. Run that. We get our money on. <laughs> Wait till the strike over. I'm going to be popping some shit. I ain't going to never have no shirt on. You going to have a shirt on. Oh, I'm getting Speaking eight chains. Of, my boy Remo was outside with no shirt on yet. Yeah. yeah. That nigga had one button. That nigga was. He both had a middle button. Where was you button. going, bro? I was at a fashion show. I love to see that Who's, shit. My boy been walking and running and shit. You was in the fashion show? No, no, I, I came. I came late. Oh, you! Uh, <laughs> I was fashionably late. He no, remolded. I was fashionably you late. You remolded. God. You, said I was, you, did. you were late remote, to an event. No, I, I, I wasn't supposed to be there at all. I was yeah. walking there. And I just came to support my own girl. Yeah. You you been, if you were supposed to be there, you would have been later than you were. Let me you tell would. you about the lateness of the remote <laughs> rod, guys. I'm a, I got, got homie court. We're going to... Oh, me court. Hey, we gotta oh, go around. We court. can't just goddamn pounce on the mother. <laughs> we gonna I'm go not pouncing. Court, we gonna go goddamn homie court. You're right. Everybody, yeah. I leave. I leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> no, we can talk about. Yeah. We can talk about love pouncing. Don't like the. You game. need this real pouncing. No, we. Everybody need this. Let's go. Right, you let go. right. Everybody let go. Homie court. Homie court. Let go, goddamn it. That's somebody else shit though, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. I think somebody else did that shit, but never mind. 
<laughs> no, I know. I just know. I do a lot of fuck shit that I remember. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of. My, I don't remember a lot of my fuck shit. So I don't remember a lot of my fuck shit. Yeah, you do. No, so look, check this out. I got my college show. My college tour kicking off. First school in Charlotte, right? School in Charlotte. My we car. Around. We go around. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We have to go to my turn. My car is <laughs> fucked up, right? So my shit supposed to be ready the day of the show. Uh-huh. But I'm calling around, see who want to go, who might can get, you know, have a whip or whatever. But anyway, long story short, I was going to take my truck. I said, Reba, I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to uh, Charlotte. You know, not tomorrow, but I texted him. was like, Yo, I'm leaving like 11 or 12. This nigga Reba called me at 12.52. <laughs> You ain't dipped, is you? <laughs> I said, bro, I had, uh, my car broke down on the switch cars. I'm, I'm already headed uh, that way. But I was like, God I told Randy two days. I told Randy the same day you hit me. I don't know if I can go. But I hit you and let you. No, you said you ain't know if you could drive because your car. But you said, I might want to go to the show. So I was like, all right, come on. Okay. See? And so the day of. That nigga didn't pick up the phone when I called in there. I mean, <laughs> like I gotta 10 say I was gonna go. But why you call him and say he leaving? He wasn't gonna go. No, nah, cause when I woke up, he called. Oh, okay. he called like twice. Back. So I just called him back. Like, yeah. <laughs> why you didn't go? He told me he was out to two in the morning. <laughs> Fuck his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt, I said, I said, you be that time I get home for the podcast every time. <laughs> we say, we say my shirt off. My shirt went off. It was just four buttons. This nigga had on a white. Blanket. It was in the process of being taken off. Is what yeah. You said. But, what, what, <laughs> but what we said is, you know how many comedians want to take Remo on tour, and the tardiness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, right. hey, is that like actual? Do you? I'm gonna hype you up. Like it's nine yeah, niggas. Love this like telling. Hey, it ain't nobody that want to take three. <laughs> you know why? Nice. <laughs> because nigga, hype it up. <laughs> No, man. Hold on, no. this is the only thing. You, only, you have veteran privilege. There's only so many times. <laughs> there's only so many times that. You can be late for stuff and we not say shit. We're trying right. to help now. It's still no, no, it's on court, nigga. We going around. Oh yeah, yeah. you guilty. Right, right. 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 Boom, boom. You have been waiting. You been I have been not been waiting. I didn't want to do that at all. <laughs> I don't even have one. Yeah, I, I don't. Go over. I need time. So go ahead. About yourself? I ain't. Yeah, so, I ain't got. This to somebody else. Um, no, I was just trying to tell people everyone was late. Yeah. That's how. Of course. <laughs> but you, but nah, this ain't about you no more. This is because he said, no, we're going to go around the table. So, nigga, what's up? <laughs> All right. This is the episode so, we break so, up? So, 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 <laughs> so. To maybe, break, it's the break up episode? If you want to. You're here to do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. <laughs> Get what? You Get need your... to stop laying on hotel pillows. And maybe you need to, like, bring your pillowcase with you. Because maybe. You know what's crazy? It's a lot of beats. I do. You in your, <laughs> your beard, because maybe. I do. He said, about your beard. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I do. Know. Know. <laughs> Look at the hair, y'all. I see this. I'm telling y'all, this is <laughs> y'all mark y'all mark the moment down. I thought he was gonna indict Tyler's character. He said, "If you want your beard to do a thing, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ass hole." We gonna go to Ronnie House. Y'all know how I feel about me. Ronnie House. Ronnie House. Ronnie House. You know, I, I had a good tardiness. Wilding out, messed up my beard. Nigga, I've been doing good too in, in my personal space and growing. You no, had no, that, bro. I was proud of you. No, we were yeah, having fun. That's why I told you. Like, I was bringing up, oh, shit. Ronnie bought it up. You said you were going around the table. I ain't been here. I ain't been here. We going around the table. We going to flip the table today. We got company and shit. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey. Just to flip the tape episode. Just a flip the hair. So, flip the hair. Yeah. So when you started like doing security work for Sexy Red. <laughs> no, it was weird, dog, because like we need to talk about this shit, bro. You cut your hair and shit, bro. <laughs> what you turning into? <laughs> <man>? <laughs> <laughs> he turned into a Freako Rico. 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 Rico.
That's crazy. I can't even look like my old self <laughs> nah, without a no. nigga to claim my old no. face. Nah, like you had hair since the pandemic, bro. That shit. That was time. my. Pr- I was da- I was uh, learning and download. I was processing. I'm. Yeah. I'm in. Uh, we you finna get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was learning how to be in the writers' room. I was learning how to goddamn produce a show. Yeah. And it's time for growth, and I'm nah, changing. I know that doing shit. Some shit too. I don't know it all, but I just. Yeah, nah. I don't want to be the nigga between legs or they using the chair. I was in a chair. <laughs> oh, to get his hair done. Okay. I thought you meant like while he was learning how to do all this. I was like, huh? Hey. Between the legs, she was doing a split, man. I'm looking sitting toes like this. I'm wide as I can go, goddamn. No, no scoot back no more, nigga. I'm a feet on his stomach. That's why I had to come out. I dislocated my stylus pelvis. I dislocated my stylus. Her pelvis, I dislocated her hip. That's what Good I did. Lead. Most of that. I mean, that <laughs> locked down socket. I'm so pussy. <laughs> pussy fell over the floor. Pussy just pussy fell out. Pussy, pussy, pussy right went up. Man. Pussy this fell on the floor. Rumble was going around the room. <laughs> Suck the pussy up. The room was yeah, like somebody pop the shoulder out of the socket just like that. Pussy, pussy, pussy just fell right on out. Did you find your Rumble when you moved? Oh, nigga. Yes. <laughs> not fine. You did? Oh, yes. wow. That shit was in my house. It was. Uh, Backstory: Tyler had a room, but he turned on and then that bitch one left. One time, left to go to work, <laughs> out, came home, couldn't find him. That shit got high, got some weed on it. Bruh, he got AI. He had the first AI. That shit was like, where was that shit? It was up under something, cat corner in the motherfucking. That bitch done popped the willy. <laughs> yeah, bro, a lot of fuck this even. That's all got to do a nigga like me. Oh, it was, was under the bed, bed. under the bed, under- like this. He, he was, was trying like to slamming. get the cone. He was trying to get the so wall. So when you look under the bed, if you didn't look up, up under the bed, like why would I look up? For some shit, shit trying to go off the ground and jump out. See what the fuck was going on? Like, but it ain't going crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would stay right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick up the pieces. <laughs> pick up the pieces. Nigga said, "Hustle man in here with a pigeon tap strapped to a twig, nigga." Oh, no, he said you got a kazoo tape to a kazoo saxophone. Tape to his fucking saxophone. We'll talk about some pick up the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit? That Martin Boy, episode. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, Tracy Morgan, Morgan special for you. Got to get really high to watch it though. I'm Tell you, because it gonna piss you off. The rest of it, you like, oh, this is a special. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to watch comedy, especially as a comedian, if you're real good. You'd be like, nigga, I will you be destroy. Breaking that shit down. Like, you be, <laughs> you be sitting there with the fucking, in your eyes, like, I'm supposed nigga to be. be. Nervous too, huh? Nigga be nervous shooting special. Hell yeah, you be nervous. I was nervous. I remember in that, the, when I did uh, the Kevin Hart shit, I remember in the middle of my set, hearing myself in my mind, I heard all I heard myself going, blah, 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 blah. I heard myself saying, I was like, boy, get to Oh, my God. That's horrible. That is scary as hell. I heard myself say, I'm like, boy, you ramble. Get to it. No, that's But that's myself telling myself, you say too many words, get to the jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of that shit, you kind of... Yourself is an asshole. Bro. Yourself is an asshole. Like, yeah, you know, cut it back. You say it back. No, but it's yeah. like me. It's, a, it's me inside. talking to yeah. me saying... He, if, he eventually going to have to talk like back, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you, you tripping, bro. You're right. You want to chill. Yeah, chill out, dog. I got you. <laughs> Ah, uh, culture comments. Culture yeah, comments. Culture comments. comments. This was the to hear Tony Baker and we gonna be reading from those Cam on stage <laughs> episode part one. Make sure you check out part two if you haven't yet. Uh-huh. It's already out. But this is a fat joke that ain't about Ronnie. How about that? Oh, Chris in color. K R Y S in color says shout out to the camera crew for finding a screen big enough for just to hear. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I look at the camera right now. We're going to see it too. Bye, Felicia. 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 Bye,
I'm saying? I just made it up right here as I sit. Um. All right, fuck it. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out, man. Okay. Some, okay. You know what I mean? We like to end the episodes with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach, where I give the people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get to the next episode. I'm Kamal, the Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. We was talking about relationships, so do some relationship shit. Give it to them. Very simple. I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> if that text message is longer than four lines, Ooh. I know it's something that we probably going to need to talk about anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not reading that shit. Uh, <laughs> and ladies, I promise you, most niggas ain't. So save it. Save, save yourself it. some time. Talk about it next time you see him. Forget about it altogether. <laughs> <laughs> but don't send that long ass text because it ain't getting read. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. Yeah, come on. Teach the too. Boy, you gotta cut them up right now. <laughs> Damn, boy. Boy, yeah. Right now. Um, yeah, more than culture is the brand. It's more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. We out, man. Oh, you read it after August, baby. Cut like, it off. What the fuck you was talking about right here? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say Domino's. Oh, yeah.